Man, what's going on? Hope y'all having a good week. All right, today we got a combo upper and lower body exercises, both push and pull. All right, so started off with prep. All right, you just got one set, but you'll have 50 of the band and pull parts. So if you have one of your lighter size bands, okay, elbows are about shoulder height. I'm slightly bent here. Remember, you're squeezing shoulder blades together and pulling that band back towards your chest. Remember, it's not tricep extension, okay? Elbows slightly bent, keeping elbows, wrists, hands, all in the same position, nothing's moving here, and you're just squeezing shoulder blades together, opening up the chest, okay? So you got 50 of those. As soon as you're finished with those, you got inchworm push-ups, okay? So you're gonna start off at 10, all right? So you'll walk it out for me. There's one. Walk the toes all the way in. There's two. All right. So you'll go all the way to 10. So hitting a push up, inch warming it in, coming back out, hitting a push up, going to 10. As soon as you're finished with that, you go to nine. Then you go to eight, seven, six, all the way down to one. Okay. I think we've done that before. Um, again, we're only doing one set because that is a little bit time consuming. It's going to be pretty difficult as well. Okay. So uh, try to get through those push-ups all without stopping. And remember, after every push-up, you do your crawl, okay? So yeah, that's what we got for prep, work hard. All right, y'all, so for foundation, I want you to find um, yourselves a bench, a stool, okay? something a little bit longer, so close to your body lengthwise, okay? Um, and you're gonna start on one side, of the bench here, okay? Get on your toes, get a little bit of minimal knee bend here, all right? And then you're just gonna bounce over as soon as you touch, bounce back. I want you to count every rep here. Keep your core nice and engaged. Keep those hands directly underneath your shoulders. Bounce it back and forth, trying to get springy and soft on the ground as you can, even though we're pushing off quickly, all the way till you get to 100, okay? If you need to take a rest, try to at least knock out 25 at a time for me, okay? That's for foundation. It's only one time through, 100 reps, okay? Again, make sure utilizing that core, so squeezing the abs a little bit. Control your torso, control your hips as you're hopping over. And all right, work hard, let's get it. All right, men, so for strength, uh, there's four exercises. We'll go four times through. In each exercise, you have 20 reps of. Some of the exercises will be unilateral, which means you do it on one side of the body or the other. Um, and then for those, you'll obviously do 20 on each side. So for the first one, um, you'll want one of your stronger bands here and also a high post to tie it to. Um, if you don't have a high post, um, try to tie it to something lower on the ground. The movement is just a row. I prefer from a higher line of pull, but if we don't have access to that, this uh, straight line of pull will also work. Okay, one of my stronger ones here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is have a seat on the floor. I'm gonna grab that almost shoulder width, about as wide as I can grab it. Have a seat here, I'm gonna lean back, and then all I'm doing is trying to bring my elbows behind my shoulders, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and then pulling that band down to my chest. All right, so you got 20 of those. Second exercise. Okay, is banded floor fly. Okay, make sure I'm seeing. Okay, so on this one, I want to tie two, a lower post like so. All right, and these are unilateral. I'm doing it on one side, and then I'll do it on the other. Okay, so I'm here. I want to make sure my shoulder blades and my hips are glued to the floor here so I'm not moving too much. I'll scooch a little bit over just so I can get some tension on the band. And then I'm just bringing it across to my midline. So my hands crossing right in between my pecs. All right, keep that elbow slightly bent. Don't elevate too much in the shoulder and the trap. Keep that down and you're just bringing it across, okay? So 20 of those on each side. Third exercise, 
probably use a Virgil black there. Let's see, grab one from over here. Third exercise is band and high pull. Alright. So I'll put this black band under my feet, about shoulder width apart. Alright, make sure you have enough tension. So I might have to grab a little bit lower here. And then all I'm doing is bringing my hands up to shoulder height and my elbows up as well. So I'm here and then back down. Again, I don't want you shrugging and raising up. Keep your traps down, keep your shoulder blades down. Just raise with the hands and elbows and we're gonna hit that top part of the shoulder, okay? And also the front part of the shoulder. All right, so those are those three. And let me check real quick what that fourth one is, excuse me. All right. And then the last one, go back to your smaller band. And this one is banded pallet press, which we've done before. All right, so you're here, take a couple steps out to where you're starting to feel some tension, starting to feel it rotate you. We want to anti-rotate, so keep ourselves nice and locked in. And you're just pressing against that tension. All right, trying to keep hips and shoulders pointed forward. You give me 20 presses here on each side, okay? So after every round, after you get all four exercises done, take about a minute rest and then get right back to the next one. All right, let's do it. All right, boys. So for accessory, we just have a super set combo. One new move, one old one, both extremely effective. Okay, so first, I want you to find your lightest, smallest band, okay? If you get through a set of this and you see that you're not able to hold up your arms um, for that front raise, I would say grab uh, some light weights if you have them, or just something that you can hold in your hand that's about uh, three or four pounds, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna get this light band underneath my feet. Here, I'm gonna get my wall sit position. All right, I don't know why I'm doing this in sandals, but here I am, okay? Get down a 90 degree knee bend, okay? Make sure your ankle is directly underneath um, your knees here. And then you lift out the band and just hold it here for 30 seconds. Push that belly button back towards your spine. You start to feel the burn and you just gotta stabilize. Breathe, put your mind in a happy place. 30 seconds goes by, you relax, you're done, okay? Um, next one after that, we'll go into resisted bear crawl, okay? So with this one, I just want you to wrap this around the waist, all right? We're doing these crawls laterally. All right, go off to the angle here. So starting off, in your bear crawl position, we're here. We want you to take about three or four steps in one direction for me. And then obviously, you'll bring it back nice and composed. And just stay in your motion here, stay in your plane of motion. Make sure your hands are directly under these shoulders. Knees are bent at 90, back's nice and flat. You guys know the routine by now, okay? So for those, it's 30 seconds facing one direction. Then obviously once you finish with that side, you'll face the other direction and do 30 seconds again, okay? So those two exercises, time for 30 seconds each, once you go through three times, all right? Take about a minute break in between sets, and yeah, work hard, let's do it. All right, boys, uh, mobility for today, no motor, so we're just going right into mobility, all right? You guys have conditioning day tomorrow, so I just wanna be nice about it. So, our first move here is what I call rollover in the V-sit. If you guys were with us uh, last season, we did these a lot um, after you guys were game nights. Okay, so we're here. I'm trying to lift my lower back off the ground. Legs are completely straight. And then I roll back forward, reach with my elbows, okay? You're doing 20 of them. Um, before, we did them for kind of rapid fire purposes, so we're going back and forth fairly quickly. With these, I want you guys to focus on trying to just get depth and reach back um, with your legs so we can get a nice stretch in our lower backs, okay? So with each rep, try to push them back a little bit further, hold them for about two to three seconds. And then roll back forward, okay? Don't push back too far to where you're kind of pinching your neck. Um, just kind of 
reach back further with every rep there, okay? Take your time with it, you got 20 of them. As soon as you're finished with that, as soon as you're finished with that, come on over to your bench, maybe your bed, whatever have you. Um, this only needs to be about two or three feet off the ground. You don't want anything too high, we really can't do the motion in, our full range of motion. But anyway, we're here, okay? Elbows elevated, hands facing back towards behind you, pushing your chest towards the floor, and then rising back up, okay? That's one rep. You're going for 20 of these. Let those lats stretch, let that T-spine get some flexion and extension, and then you're done with those. Okay, as soon as you're finished, go back to that first exercise and do uh, both exercises two times through, okay? All right, y'all. Have a good one.